So I know a lot of people out there like to review certain tools and there's certain brands they get all high and mighty about like Milwaukee and DeWalt, Makita, which is brands that I like too. But I also like cheap tools. I have a thing for cheap tools. I don't know what it is, but I like to find the cheap tools that work the best and that surprise me and that might surprise you as well. So where better to find cheap tools that's not Harbor Freight than Walmart? So I was at Walmart a few weeks ago and I saw something that I just couldn't believe. I saw this. This is a hyper tough 12 volt impact driver that is also brushless. Brushless, unbelievable. So in case you guys haven't noticed yet, it's sort of kind of looking like M12. And I guess that's on purpose, even with this little barrel style battery, makes it even more M12. Even has a belt clip. It has a belt clip too. It's incredible. But I wonder how good this thing really is. It had specs that were pretty good. It had torque that was in the 1300 inch pounds area. I said, I've got to test this. I have to show everybody how great this thing's going to be. First, let's get into the particulars of the tool, the specs. It has a quarter inch chuck, quick release. It's not one of the types where you can just set the bit in there and it will just lock into place doesn't do that. You still have to use two hands. And when you take it out, you still have to use two hands as well. As I mentioned, it's brushless. There's a light that comes on right above the trigger. Whenever you pull the trigger, it stays on for an exceptional period of time. Looks like 10 to 15 seconds. Let's just wait and see how long it feels. It felt like 10 seconds to me. Whenever you pull the trigger, there's a battery meter on the side. Let's you know how full your battery is. The tool comes in a kit with a 1.5 amp hour battery. The kit also comes with one of these type battery chargers, which are horrible. These are simply horrible. And it takes three to five hours to charge the battery with one of these. It plugs right in the back of the battery if you're going to use it. Very simple. I went ahead and purchased the rapid charger. This is a 12 volt max fast battery charger. The charge time is still relatively slow for this size drill. It's approximately one hour for an amp and a half or two amp hour battery. And that's all they have for sale right now. And here's something else. Now this kit cost $59 for the amp and a half battery, the impact driver and the awful charger. The regular charger is another 17, 20 bucks right in there. So you're looking at paying around 80 bucks for all that stuff if you get a better charger. Now, 80 bucks for one of these tools is putting it really close to where you could have this past Black Friday, and maybe still currently, I don't know, purchased the Gen 3 Milwaukee M12 fuel impact driver, which is assuredly going to be better than this thing. But I still think this impact driver is going to do okay but it ain't gonna be as good as a fuel. The impact driver with the battery is 908 grams or an even two pounds. With the battery on, the height of the tool is about seven and a half inches. The length of the tool, including the collet, is five and one quarter inches. The tool does stand up when you set it on a workbench. Here is a size comparison between this 12 volt impact and the skill brushless and the Hercules brushed impacts. The Hercules and the Skill have two amp hour batteries on them. The Hyper Tough Impact Driver has an RPM of 3000 and an impact per minute of 3900. I have these four inch timber screws, which surprisingly enough, were also at Walmart. I've never seen that before till the last visit. We're gonna drive these timber screws into a two by four. The two by four is facing with the three and a half side visible. I pre-drilled each hole about an inch and a half with this small drill bit in order to make sure these things got started and got started straight. I don't want any time lost while it's spinning trying to get a grip there. Each one of these fine impact drivers are gonna drill in two of these. We'll see which one is the fastest. One, two. <laughs> One, two. One, two. One, 
two. One, two. After the test, HyperTuff has a full battery. Scale has a full battery. Hercules has a full battery. There is a 5.8 self-feed impact rated paddle bit from Bauer. We're gonna see how well each one of these drill a couple holes. One, two. Got bogged down on the bottom, couldn't push through. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it looks like to me that the HyperTuff falls in between, and I haven't seen any of the numbers yet from our test we ran, but the feeling is that it falls in between the Hercules and the brushless skill. The edge goes to the brushless skill in speed, although there are some things about the HyperTuff, like the ergonomics, I like the HyperTuff actually, because it reminds me of the M12, and I like the way the M12 feels. HyperTuff is lightweight, it's small, it seems more compact definitely than the skill, the Hercules kind of similar as far as overall volume, but the skill is larger than the HyperTuff. So longevity is a main question that we have with anything like this. HyperTuff tools from Walmart, you don't know how long they're going to last. They might break next week. I don't know. When I saw these on the shelf, I just had to try them because they're brushless. They're obviously looking like an M12 barrel style battery, which kind of caught my attention. And they have a decent amount of power. At least this one does right here. They're making a brushed version as well, which is going to be, I think, substantially weaker, something like the Hercules probably. And it's only $26 for the drill kit and $30-some for the impact kit for the brushed. So they're very, very affordable for somebody who just wants something to do, you know, very minor work around the house, 
just hanging pictures and putting in some not so substantial fasteners, that'll probably do a good job. I'm going to work with this thing in the shop over the next few weeks. I like it. I like the way it feels. It's not as powerful as some of the other impact drivers, but a lot of times I don't need a real powerful impact driver. In fact, I grab the Hercules quite a bit because I need something with just a little bit of power, but not a whole lot. Do a lot of my little fasteners and my woodworking stuff. So I'll give you guys an update. For right now, I think I'm pleased. The price is probably a little high, I think, because you're getting up in the territory of some of the major tool brands and their 12 volt tools. And I know it doesn't perform as well as some of those tools. It would be nice to see this particular hyper tough impact versus an M12 brushed drill an impact driver set like both of them. I think that would be a kind of a cool competition. Maybe we can have that in the future. But as for today, I mean, it did pretty good. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please take time to like the video and subscribe. It makes a huge difference on how far this video gets out into the internet. And hopefully it gets all the way across the internet to the other side. Uh, my name is Zach. This is Zach's Tool Shop, and I'll see you guys on the next one.